Hey guys, Lennon right here, and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Now, as this current season comes to an end, well, I'm going to be trying to get a nice 7,000 trophy season finish. So, of course, today, I'm going to be pushing ladder with the classic 2.9 motorcycle, trying to get to that coveted 7,000 trophy mark. Now, motorcycle, honestly, has been a deck that has just worked for so, so long. Obviously, there are very, very difficult matchups, but for the most part, it does have the matchup against a lot of popular decks in this current meta. And it's just honestly been a very, very consistent deck over a long period of time. Anyways, before we get into some matches, if you could please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you'd like to support me, feel free to use code LEGENDARAY in the Clash Royale shop. The new season is starting up soon, or, or it might have just started already, but any support would be greatly appreciated. And with all of that out of the way, Let's get right into some matches. Alrighty, so this first match here today going to be against Marjovoy or something like that. And looks like this is going to be a barrel to the side, so I think I can just go in with an Ice Spirit there. And then I'll go in with a Mortar like so in order to, you know, immediately go in on offense. I suspect something. Oh, I just gave him rocket value. Whoopsie daisy. Um, a little bit unfortunate there. I didn't think he would go in with a rocket. I really didn't. Dang, okay, um, let's think here. So it's Goblin Barrels out of cycle, so I'm probably gonna go in with a rocket sometime soon. And <laughs> in comes the rocket. Uh, he's probably gonna try and Princess Snipe at the bridge. Yeah, 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 I figured. We're gonna log that out and then just go in with some skeletons and some archers like so to counter the thingy mabobber. Valk's gonna get some damage. Actually, he's gonna get quite a bit of damage. Um, oh my god, a lot more than I thought. Um, but that's okay. You know, we're still relatively tied in terms of damage. And we shall continue. So, let's see here. Um, I'm probably gonna go Mortar soon. Uh, I I'm not quite sure exactly what he has, because this, this variant seems a little bit different. Oh, okay, well, you can just feed me a princess, so I appreciate that very much. We'll go with a knight as well, because the ice spirit got to reset the uh, Tesla as well, so it'll force out a little bit more of a response from our opponents here. And, uh, yeah, let's just go in. Yeah, let's go in with a set of archers here. His log is out of cycle. We'll go skeletons to protect those archers a little bit. And then we'll just go straight in with another mortar. I'm not, I wasn't counting his cards, so I'm not sure. Okay, so he is back to Tesla. We'll get the Ice Spirit to jump quickly. And there we go. We managed to sneak in that lock. As you can see, I knew that the Electro Spirit would jump from a bit of a distance. So I played that Ice Spirit so that the Electro Spirit would, you know, jump onto the Ice Spirit a lot sooner allow the mortar lock onto the tower, and uh, I mean, at this point, the game's just pretty much over. There's really not much this guy can do. Um, that being said, I did just use my log, so, you know, he's probably gonna go in here. Never mind. Oh, he is, yeah, he's definitely going in here. So we'll just go in with a little bridge block. I'm not even gonna bother about a King Tower activation, honestly. We'll get that Electro Spirit to jump. Once again, another connection onto the, uh, onto the uh, tower there. Unfortunately, I did let the Tesla lock on, so... You know, that's a couple hundred damage uh, off um, that, that I would have gotten if I had protected the mortar. But we're all good. Let's just go in with a defensive mortar. And at this point, his tower is just two spell cycles away. Oh, I did let uh, a little bit of damage get on there from a goblin. But, I mean, look at this. We're, we're essentially an entire rocket ahead of him. So there's really not too much that he can do. He tries to predict the mortar. But again, like, I mean... I didn't even get a King Tower activation this match, honestly. That was just how, how, uh, how, how the matchup uh, worked out, I guess. But uh, anyways, here that Tesla's not gonna pull. Okay, so he does, he does manage to uh, get the princess, uh, get the uh, Valk down in time. But um, we're we're just gonna, we're just gonna, you know, eventually get the spell cycle in here. As you can see, the mortar's now locked on. It'll get that hit that it needs. And then now the tower is just very cleanly uh, within rocket cycle range, finishing the match off nice and easily. Alrighty, so this next match here is against Alex here. Starting off, we're going to go ahead and just cycle some, some of our cards, go skeletons, get to our tornado, cycle some of our stuff, and looks like we're also going to be against a cycle deck as well. Given the deck, okay, no, he has bats as well. That was a little bit unexpected. But we will see what this guy's got. Um, I don't, will that Electro Spirit hit the tower? It will. Wow, okay. And it looks like we're probably against Royal Giant here. So, mm, I don't know. This matchup is, is doable, I guess. It's doable. 
Um, let's see here. We'll cycle our ice spirit. You know, just go in with some stuff. And here's the thing, right? This matchup, you, um... You're basically trying to spell cycle. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest here. Uh, you are just trying to spell cycle because there's no way you're breaking through a royal giant cycle deck. I mean, are you kidding me? This boring cycling went on for the next minute or so, so I just went ahead and skipped forward to double elixir. So, let's see here. Mm, we are, you know, approaching. We are approaching that moment. We are approaching that moment. And uh, three, two, one, and let's send in the rocket. We're sending it in. We're sending it. <laughs> Um, yeah, so he goes Royal Giant in the back. Obviously, he's trying to cycle the two Royal Giants. Um, and there's nothing I can really do to stop that, unfortunately. So, we're just gonna have to do our best to defend. So, Ice Spirit comes down. We're gonna cycle to a second Knight. Okay, we're gonna rocket the other Royal Giant push here. Um, depending on what he does, actually. But, um, we will likely rocket out his other Royal Giant push. Um... So let's see here. Knight comes down, I guess. He is back to Royal Giant. Um, I, he actually doesn't... Okay, no, he does have enough Elixir to play it. Okay, we'll just go like this. We'll go in with a Mortar to the side and Skeletons up high. Gave him a lot of log value. But I think that will be alright. Fisherman will pull, so a little bit unfortunate there. But we're still doing okay. You can see, even though we only got one rocket onto the tower, we're still doing okay. We are still doing okay. And, um... Okay, let's go in with a mortar here once again. I, I'm fine with giving him this fireball, personally. Um, we'll just go in with a rocket here. And he misses the fireball, so that, you know, that kind of helps. <laughs> um, so let's see here. This is going to be a little bit of a tough defense here, I'm going to be honest. So let's go in here with this, this, and then we're going to have to NATO that Royal Giant backwards. Clear out the bats as well. I don't think that Royal Giant actually got a hit, so very nice defense by me, if I do say so myself. Um, he's obviously back to another Royal Giant, so we just have to get ready for that. Royal Giant goes down in the back, so we'll go in with a Mortar in the opposite lane. We are ahead in damage by um, a couple hundred HP, actually, so I am totally okay with just kind of sitting back and, uh, and kicking it. So I'll go ahead and just log this out. He'll fireball my archers, so the Mortar will be nice and healthy. Um, let's get a second, uh, second one of these down. Let's get another archer down because he doesn't have his fireball and cycle. I, uh, I let that royal giant get a hit. That's not good. Uh, I'm actually just gonna NATO the royal giant in. Um, I just, you know, <laughs> I, I need, a, I need to get some sort of damage, you know? So let's just go ahead and log here. I'm trying to split my damage evenly, but, uh, okay, I actually managed to split it up pretty well. Um, unfortunately, this matchup is going to be a lot closer than I thought it would be. But, oh, well, what can you do? Let's go Skeletons and our Knight here. Um, get some log chip damage. I love that he's going the same lane because that way, um, you know, we're just gonna <laughs> get some nice stuff here. Nice, I predict his, uh, his Royal Giant there. He has to f waste his Fireball there like so. We'll get another Mortar down. We'll NATO to clear the Bats and pull that Royal Giant backwards. And, uh, yeah, it looks like we pretty much just have this matchup in the bag. Let's go ahead, go with an Ice Spirit, cycle some of our cards here. Log. Let's go High Archers. And, um, yeah, pretty much we'll NATO the bats, pull the Royal Giant back, and there's just nothing this guy can do. We'll send in one last rocket to pretty much secure the damage advantage, and that's going to be GG well played. So, you know, looking back, I definitely do have a decent matchup if I do play it properly, but you know what, I'll just take the win regardless. Alrighty, so next up we're against a Japanese player. Best of luck to this guy. So, starting off, let's see here. No Mortar, no Tornado, what a terrible starting hand. Um, so we're going to be cycling. This is the optimal skeleton placement, by the way. Playing at two tiles to the left. It uh, counters a three elixir bandit for one elixir. Very, very useful uh, for you guys to learn. Going to go in with a bar barrel. That was a terrible placement of a knight. Don't play it like that. <laughs> okay, um, that's fine. Let's just go into the Mortar here. Probably against Mega Knight, judging by the fact that he is bar barrel. Okay, no, looks like it's just gonna be bridge, ma'am. Um, what we're gonna do here is we're just going... Oh, no, is it three musketeers? It might be three musketeers, actually. Um, again, we screwed up a, a king activation as well. Um, okay, so he's gonna pump up. We're not gonna... We're not gonna let him uh, get away with that. Let's get a nice mortar lock on the tower like so. And, uh, yeah, the mortar's gonna get, like, hopefully two hits. Yeah, looks like two hits, so that's okay. You know what? I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. And, um, hmm... Uh -huh, huh. Three Musketeers, the recently buffed card. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. Um, 
<sighs> did I get those skeletons down in time? Okay, thank goodness I did. Um, so let's just go ahead and go in with a knight here. All good. We'll cycle some archers. Um, we'll get ourselves an ice spirit. Oh, that did not work out at all. Um, oh, okay. Luckily, we do have an activated king's tower. That'll help take down the barbs. But I am letting him get quite a bit of an elixir advantage over us, which is not ideal. I'm going to be honest. It's not ideal at all. So this is actually one of the worst starts that I should have. I shouldn't have been so aggressive. I think that that was the big thing. I was way too aggressive and I should have just instead, you know, saved the rockets and, you know, rocketed everything away. Anyways, here, we're just going to NATO like so. Uh, Mortar's going to, you know, <laughs> take down those musketeers pretty s easily. Um, like so. We'll just go in Ice Spirit Skellingtons there. Take down that that, uh, that thingamabobber. And there we go. Now it's time to just rocket out the elixir pumps. We've reached the point where, um, you know, he, he, we can't let him get that big of an elixir advantage. And we have enough to deal with his three musketeers pretty handedly so we'll just do this okay we'll go in with our skeletons to pull uh distract all of this good stuff cycle back to a second knight here to do some very very much needed tankage and uh yeah let's go in with another mortar here like so i think i might just go in with a pull pull that and allow the mortar to lock onto the tower knight's gonna take down the uh the battle ram which will be very useful. And then we'll just go in like so. Take down the hunter. Going with an ice spirit there. Still doesn't distract the bar barrel. But I think that will still allow one more hit from the mortar. And it does. I will take it. 1427 is all we need uh, to, to take down the rest of this match. Let's go into the knight here. And we are ready to nato those musketeers whenever they're played. We'll nato them together. Okay, and I think what we need to do now is cycle two logs, um, because uh, we're not going to be getting... Uh, he's going to do a very good job at distracting those musketeers. So as you can see, second log coming down right now. There we go. Takes down the rest of those musketeers. All right, and uh, it's getting a little bit sketchy. I'm going to be honest here. This matchup is definitely getting a little bit sketchy. We'll NATO those musks together. Unfortunately, he does get the distraction down in time. And uh, I think I will have to rocket this out. Take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. That's okay. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. We took a lot of damage there, actually. So he is slowly uh, getting to us here. So we will have to be very, very careful now. I'm gonna go mortar to the left this time. Uh, we're gonna try and nato those musks same lane, but oh, that fails. Okay, so, okay, here's the plan. We're gonna tank that entire roll of ghosts. We're, we're just gonna tank it. I don't even care. I don't even care. We're just gonna tank it. And then we'll go like this. Oh boy, he doesn't have a heal spirit, which is which is uh, relaxing, at least for me to know. Uh, I do let that musketeer lock on, which is trouble. And uh, wow, he is applying so much double lane pressure. Oh boy, but it looks like we should be able to hold 30 seconds left. Let's try and, you know, get him again with the uh, stupid NATO trick. It works, so it looks like that should just be the game in the bag. One more mortar shot, takes it down to spell cycle range, and Rocket will finish the game off. So this matchup is uh, a lot more tricky than you might think. Um, you have to be very, very careful not to let those double lane pushes get to you. And you're going to have to min-max. You're going to have to take some damage at some point in order to defend uh, with a positive elixir trade. Alrighty, so this match here against Roy R898 from Bateria SR Gold. Best of luck to him. Starting off here, let's go ahead. We'll just cycle a log here. Um, it's a cycle deck, so we're trying to get as much chip damage as we possibly can. Mm, let's just go into the mortar. You know what? Why not? Why not? Mortar first play. Best play in the book. And it looks like we are against a bowler. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghetti-o moment. Um, I'll just go in with some archers here in the back, and then we will uh, proceed to rocket out this balloon. So it looks like we are going to be against a balloon freeze deck, which, um, technically we have matchup, but it's not easy. It's not easy. Um, so let's see here. Um, okay, here, here's the here's the agenda here. All right, we get a king tower activation. That's step one. Step one is we get a king tower activation. Um. And then, and then, and then we'll figure out what we do from there. <laughs> um, so let's see here. Uh, is he back to balloon? I, okay, no, he's not. Okay, so we'll get the king tower activation. There's step one. There's step one for you guys. Um, and then we'll go archers here. 
Um, I, I again, I'm very doubtful he has elixir for a balloon here. I'm so doubtful that I'm just gonna go skeletons here, surround that bowler, and go in with an ice spear here, and then go in with another mortar. Mmm. Okay, not a good mortar. <laughs> not a good mortar at all. Um. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. So here's the plan. Oh, please get that down in time. Okay. Good. Whew, okay. That NATO was uh, just in the nick of time there to make up for the over-aggressive mortar that I played. Um, oh boy. Oh boy, this is not a fun matchup because <laughs> the balloon bowler deck just has so many, so many big heavy tanks. That is just an uncomfortable, uncomfortable time for me. Uh, so let's cycle some archers here. Um, we want to try and get to multiple sets of archers. And then we'll just, you know, do some kiting here. Um... Oh, oh no! Oh dear! Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, so we're gonna pull that to the king tower here, uh, and then we'll go in like so, distract the uh, the electro dragon. And wow, looks like that. Honestly, the rocket kind of uh, worked in our favor because it, <laughs> it 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 made it made him go all in. And look at the knight. The knight actually took his left tower down to a 2702. Uh, meanwhile, here we're just going to go like this, and then so we drag the inferno dragon in, and then we rocket out the balloon. Nice and easy here. So now we're actually in a damage advantage, um, which I absolutely did not expect after I uh, after I just you know fat fingered a rocket. Okay, he's gonna try and do some stupid NATO thing here. Uh, we'll go with the knight up top. That did not work out at all. Um, so we'll go in with a little push here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna NATO this stuff backwards here. Allow the mortar to get you know a couple more hits onto the tower. And uh, yeah, we're just ready to rocket out whatever push he's coming in with. So let's go with the ice spirit to the side here. Okay, uh, we'll go like this. We'll group all the units up together. Rocket comes down here. Uh, and then we'll go with archers as well. Should be able to finish this. Okay, good. I was gonna like, should be able to finish the job, but I wasn't 100% sure. <laughs> so, anyways, here we're gonna do a good job at damaging down that electric dragon. I don't think I'll have to respond. So, let's just cycle a log here. And, um, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, so let's go with the mortar here. Alright, so last minute heading towards triple elixir time is when this is about to get crazy. So, uh, knight comes down here. Uh, nice try with your NATO. Uh, oh, and of course we misplayed the mortar. Ay yeah yay. That was not good at all. But we just continue getting chip damage, cycling the log there. Um, getting some chip damage onto the tower. We'll go skeletons there, distract the bowler. Hopefully the mortars will take the bowler down. Uh, Rocket will finish the job though, so not too worried. We'll just go in with the mortar here. Hold that balloon and force out more of a response. It's just gonna bowler, yeah. It's just gonna bowler. Man, the bowler is so annoying. Hey, yay, yay. Okay, so cycling another log here, getting another defensive mortar down. And, uh,. Okay, he's probably gonna have one last balloon push coming in. There it is. We rocket that out of the way. And, uh, yeah, there we go. His NATO does not work. 14 seconds left. Let's just cycle back to one last rocket. Send that onto the tower, and that should just simply be a good game. I don't think he'll have the time to make it to our towers here. Well, Barbarian does get a hit, but uh, looks like we will end up taking the tiebreaker victory. Alrighty, so this match here against Amir from Iran Terrain. Best of luck. Starting off, he goes in with a heal spirit. Um, what a more fitting play than going in with the mortar as the first play. So let's see here. We'll just go in with um, some uh, nice spirit and some archers here. Okay. Should take down the Sparky as well as the Ewis, actually. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Ain't that's going to be a nice more luck. Please get the skeleton timing right. Let's go. Oh, wait. No, oh, I screwed that up. <laughs> um, either way, though, we are back to our mortar. So just play it down. We're just going to play it down immediately. He's not back to his his uh, his Sparky. So that's actually going to get a mortar splash on the tower, too. So yay me. Yay me. Um, so let's see. Ice Spirit down to uh, do a little freeze action. And the knight should honestly just damage down that, that uh, goblin giant all by itself. I don't think I need to spend any more elixir on it. And uh, wow, what a great start here. Could not have asked for anything better. I'll cycle a log here. And um, 
Yeah, look at this. <laughs> oh man, I just feel bad at this point, man. What a lucky matchup we have for this last uh, last match to 7,000 trophies. Um, okay, he's gonna go in with some e-barbs at the bridge. You know, understandable, but uh, not gonna work, my guy. Not gonna work. Um, knight and archers are gonna be more than enough to damage that down, and we'll have a nice little counter push here for us. <laughs> And uh, this guy seems uh, not not all that happy about this. Uh, not all that happy about how this matchup is turning out for him. Meanwhile, with Log, stop that E-Wiz from getting damage onto the tower. And as we head towards double elixir time, this is almost just straight up spell cycle range for <laughs> um, for me here, um, because a couple of logs and the tower will be within two rockets. So go to the mortar here. Obviously, he's gonna goblin giant. Um, and then we'll go with archers. The other thing about this is that he doesn't have a big spell. So, you know, what are you going to do, right? We'll rocket this out of the way. Um, and uh, Mortar even gets a hit on the tower. Oh, man, I just feel bad for him. I just feel bad for him. What can I say? He's going to eat barbs here. Yep. Yeah. Yep, reading him like a book. We'll log, allow those archers to get just a little bit more value. Ha, huh. heal spirit. Stupid. Not going to heal up. <laughs> the ice spirit uh, freezes those barbs so that the... Um, the elite barbs are just outside that heal spirit range for us. We'll go with a nice little log here to just get a little bit more chip damage. Almost just within spell cycle range. 20 seconds left. We're just gonna, you know, spell cycle him out of the way. Let's get this over with. We just need to cycle to one more rocket. And I don't think that Goblin Giant's even reaching our tower in the next 10 seconds. Especially if we pull it back with the tornado and knock it back with the log and freeze it with an ice spirit. That's just gonna be GG well played. Big push you got there. Sucks that I'm taking your tower first. Ha, <laughs> got him. All right, anyways, that's probably gonna bring us to 7,000 trophies if I do remember uh, my trophy count properly. And okay, no, it is, it is. So there we go, 7,000 trophies with Mortar Cycle. Top 2,500, you know what, I'll take it. Maybe I'll go for a top 1,000 finish if I feel like it. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. The Mortar Cycle deck link is down in the description for those of you to try it out. It is a very fun deck and quite different from most of the decks that you're playing in this current meta. But unfortunately, guys, that's all I've got time for in today's episode. Huge thanks to all of my channel members. You guys are the absolute G's. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below as well as a subscription to my channel. And as always, this is Legend of Ray, and I'm signing off. See you guys next time.